So I'm not gonna win any awards for uh, filming or have a secondary career in acting or anything like that, but figured this might be the most helpful for you, Glenn, is just doing a quick video walk around so that way you're actually able to physically see the vehicle and uh, any blemishes or anything that might be on it. Now, in terms of the vehicle itself, so just know uh, from a condition wise, it's a little dirty, it will get fully detailed, uh, but just kind of being out here on our pre-owned lot, uh, is a little bit less than ideal here. Luckily, we're undergoing an entire renovation that you can see on our store right across the street. Uh, but in terms of the vehicle itself, so just kind of going along the side, you'll see that there's no dents, dings, scrapes, or scruff. Wheel, so this is the back right, so you'll see that there's no curb rash or anything. This is going to be your front right here. Tires, from my understanding, looking at the service report, were 730 seconds, which is going to be 80% remaining life, and the brakes were 912, uh, and I think that means that they're 75% remaining life. Obviously, you'll have your dual exhaust pipes. With this particular one being the RF Club, um, it is going to be a little bit different than your current one. So a couple things you might notice is you're going to have a rear diffuser that goes along the back. You'll kind of see right along the skirt, your rockers are a little bit more aggressive. You'll see that you have the black lip spoiler here, and then you'll have the black roof uh, as well. Kind of up in the front, same thing. You'll see down here that you have a front splitter. The only little piece you will see, there is just a little bit of a chip kind of right there in the front splitter. Kind of typical of these lower vehicles here. Same thing, you'll see front right or front left wheel and back right wheel. And kind of going along the left side, you'll see that there's no dents, stings, scrapes, or scuffs, or anything to that nature there. So opening up the interior wise, you'll see seating is gonna be a little bit different where you have the cloth seats. These are gonna be very, very heavily bolstered out, a leather and Alcantara, because again, these are the Recaro seating package here. And then bolster wise, you'll see it is not worn or anything. You can press and the wear bar is way down in there. So luckily you shouldn't have a concern there as well. Same thing with the dash, very similar layout to what you're used to in your current MX-5, uh, though obviously this will have a little bit more features. Now, one thing that you may not be able to see here is actually you won't be able to see it, but it does have the blind spot indicators. Uh, so those will light up uh, if someone's on the left or right side. And I kind of agree with a vehicle that sits this low to the ground. It's always good to kind of have that extra buffer. But if there is any other questions or information or details I can send over to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, but I appreciate the opportunity and hopefully this is a little bit more helpful with some of our conversations, Glenn. Thanks again.